Rolf Landauer was a pioneer in computer science. He developed Landauer's Principle. Prior to Dr. Landauer's landmark work, it was widely believed that processing a single bit of information in a computer inevitably consumed some energy, placing a fundamental constraint on computer power. Yet Dr. Landauer showed to many people's surprise that this was not true. Energy is not necessarily consumed by the computation itself, but only when the information is erased from a computer that a certain irreducible amount of energy is lost. Landauer's principle has been described as the thermodynamic cost of forgetting. As well, Landauer often admonished colleagues that information is inevitably physical. In fact, shortly before he passed away, in a 1999 article titled, Information is a Physical Entity, Rolf Landauer stated that information is inevitably inscribed in a physical medium. It is not an abstract entity. In short, Landauer was a staunch materialist who held that immaterial information does not have an independent existence apart from its physical representation on a material substrate since it always took energy to erase information from a computer. In fact, Landauer went so far as to, in the same paper, deride Roger Penrose's belief that immaterial information has an existence independent of matter and energy as a quote-unquote quaint notion. Yet Landauer is now experimentally shown to be wrong. Information does have an existence apart from matter and energy. Leaving aside the burning question as to exactly why should it take any energy at all to erase this supposedly non-existent abstract entity of immaterial information from a computer in the first place? Leaving aside that burning question, in a 2010 article titled, Maxwell's Demon Demonstration Turns Information into Energy, it is stated, scientists in Japan are the first to have succeeded in converting information into free energy in an experiment that verifies the Maxwell Demon Thought Experiment devised in 1867. And as the 2010 article titled, Demonic Device Converts Information to Energy stated, this is a beautiful experimental demonstration that information has a thermodynamic content, says Christopher Jarzinski, who formulated an equation to define the amount of energy that could theoretically be converted from a unit of information. As well, in a 2011 paper titled, Scientists Show How to Erase Information Without Using Energy, it is stated, Landauer said that information is physical because it takes energy to erase it. We are saying that the reason information is physical has a broader context than that. And as another 2011 article titled, Quantum Knowledge Cools Computers, New Understanding of Entropy, stated recent research by a team of physicists reveals a surprise at this fundamental level. ETH professor Renato Renner and Vlako Vedral of the Center for Quantum Technologies at the National University of Singapore and the University of Oxford, UK, and their colleagues describe in the scientific journal Nature how the deletion of data, under certain conditions, can create a cooling effect instead of generating heat. The cooling effect appears when the strange quantum phenomenon of entanglement is invoked. The new study revisits Landauer's principle. When the bits to be deleted are quantum mechanically entangled with the state of an observer, then the observer could even withdraw heat from the system while deleting the bits. Thus, Landauer's contention that information is inevitably physical because it takes energy to erase information from a computer is simply not true. The 2011 article goes on to state, Entanglement links the observer's state to that of the computer in such a way that they know more about the memory than is possible in classical physics. In measuring entropy, one should bear in mind that an object does not have a certain amount of entropy per se. Instead, an object's entropy is always dependent on the observer. To state the obvious, thermodynamically speaking, this is a radical shift. Moreover, in a 2017 article titled, The Quantum Thermodynamics Revolution, it is stated as, the 19th century physicist, James Clerk Maxwell put it, the idea of dissipation of energy depends on the extent of our knowledge. In recent years, a revolutionary understanding of thermodynamics has emerged that explains this subjectivity using quantum information theory a single ion engine and three atom fridge were both experimentally realized for the first time within the past year and is forcing them to extend thermodynamics to the quantum realm. Rewriting the theory from the bottom up has led experts to recast its basic concepts in terms of its subjective nature. Renato René, a professor at ETH Zurich in Switzerland, described this as a radical shift in perspective. Fifteen years ago, we thought of entropy as a property of a thermodynamic system, he said. Now in quantum information theory, 
We wouldn't say entropy is a property of a system, but a property of an observer who describes a system. But to go even further in falsifying Landauer's contention that information is inevitably physical, the easiest and clearest way to experimentally demonstrate that information has an existence independent of its representation on a material substrate is with quantum teleportation. In a 2009 article titled, First Teleportation Between Distant Atoms, it is stated, scientists have successfully teleported information between two separate atoms in unconnected enclosures a meter apart. Information is transferred from one place to another, but without traveling through any physical medium. And as the 2016 article titled, Quantum Teleportation Enters the Real World stated, the photons aren't disappearing from one place and appearing in another. Instead, it's the information that's being teleported through quantum entanglement. Thus, in conclusion, and as far as experimental science is concerned, Rolf Landauer's materialistic belief that information is inevitably physical is cleanly and neatly falsified, whereas Roger Penrose's quote-unquote quaint notion that information has an existence independent of its material representation on a computer is neatly and cleanly verified. One final note, the fact that immaterial information is now experimentally shown to have an existence apart from its physical representation, besides falsifying Landauer, also directly falsifies the Darwinian materialistic belief that the information in life must be reducible to, and or emergent from, some material basis.